Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This is my inaugural video. I haven't opened anything on camera. Uh, I'm an avid hockey card collector and I thought I'd give this a shot. It looks fun. I watch many videos out here on YouTube. Uh, everything, uh, uh, I can't get enough of watching these videos. So I decided, how about make your own? So uh, my name is Puck Duck. I'm coming at you live from my wife's craft table in Sudbury, Ontario. Well, as live as Jimmy Kimmel, uh, as this has been recorded, uh, today I'll be opening up a, a box of 2021-22 Upper Deck Extended, uh, the unofficial Series 3 this year. Uh, I know I'm a little late to the game, as the release date was yesterday, but Living in Sudbury, you have to accept that you aren't exactly going to be able to keep up with the times. Uh, next week, I hear uh, we might be finally getting color TV. In this release, uh, I'm looking forward to getting a cider canvas, some of the young guns like Seth Jarvis, Sean Dursey, Alexander Holtz, JJ Paterka, and Alex Turcott. Uh, there are a few other guys too. Uh, what am I getting? Uh, uh, the crop isn't as good as last or series two uh, but uh, overall this product from the videos I've seen and from the checklist I've seen seems a lot more exciting than extended series last year so uh, uh, I don't know there's a lot of things I'm looking forward to this release is loaded with inserts especially rookie inserts It'd be nice to get a black diamond or a trilogy of Zegris, Caulfield, Mason Raymond, rookie of the year Mort Sider and our former Sudbury Wolf star, Quinton Byfield. Um, I decided to, uh, I don't know, get a few of these boxes and just see how it goes. And uh, I don't know, uh, hopefully you enjoy. Uh, I don't know, hit a like, uh, subscribe, because I plan on doing a few more of these. And uh, I don't know, let's get into it. So I did open one pack off camera. Just to see how it looked and uh, this is the first box right here and the first box or the first pack I did open I came across uh, one of the guys I was looking for right away Young Guns of JJ Paterka not a bad looking card there I'll sleeve and top load all these later I just want to uh, I don't know get everything going here and there's JJ uh, few of these other inserts in here uh, oh, I, I just been amazed of I don't know, the depth that these go uh, Ovechkin Crosby uh, getting like their 0506 uh, black diamond cards it's almost like uh, getting a rookie card and I, to me I, I find that amazing and uh, brings me back to those times and here we got a few base cards uh, this is the inaugural game, so a lot of the Seattle guys uh, are in the back end of the base set and they're commemorated there. Be a nice little collection for any of those Seattle fans out there. And our first UD canvas is Pius Suter uh, in his Detroit uniform. Uh, should be getting about four of those in a box. Uh, uh, another good uh, canvas young gun that uh, I'll be looking for is uh, uh, Pod Colson out of Vancouver. Uh, that one seemed pretty decent. Sorry guys, first time opening on camera. It's a little awkward, but should be something I can get used to. Uh, oh, we got ourselves another Young Guns here of Cole Schwint. Uh, this young guy, uh, he, he's getting a little older, but uh, no, he's still pretty young. He uh, was just traded to Calgary. So I'm sure the Flames fans will be chasing that guy. And I like to open my packs in order, like uh, go around the box here, uh, start in the bottom right corner, work around. That's how I keep the mojo going. I, uh, I don't know, I'm gonna say I'm superstitious, but it's uh, just always something I've always done when I'm opening up a nice box of any product. Voracek, got Vlader, we can't, oh we got a nice, oh here we go, Trevor Zegris, 
SPX. So that's one of the guys I was looking for. It's not a bad little hit. Uh, I think there's a variation of these that are numbered, uh, but uh, that's an 09. No, that's a 99 2000 uh, tribute card. Those are pretty flashy. And a few more base cards here. Uh, we also got the All Star cards. Uh, they look like, uh, I don't know, they're in a lineup there for uh, mug shots, but uh, they're still pretty nice. Uh, I'll be putting those in my personal collections because I collect most star cards, I collect all rookie cards just in case like a young guy breaks out later and then you can see the increase in value of his cards. Here we go, pack four. A little Marc Andre Fleury action. And we got a Brad Marchand. These are the 0607. This is a base of the 0607 tribute cards. Uh, hopefully, we get a young gun in these. Uh, they were pretty nice back in 0607. Uh, Malkin. Malkin was a big card that year. I think Phil Kessel was another guy that everybody wanted. Uh, I don't know, a lot of people have issues with Brad Marchand. But, uh, even though he plays for the Boston Bruins, I uh, still love the guy. Because if he was on my team, uh, he'd probably want to be one of my favorite players, that's for sure. Uh, so here's some more base. Oh, and hey, there we go. We got the Young Guns 0607 tribute of Quentin Byfield. He just so happened to be one of our star players here in Sudbury. So I wish him all the best and uh, wish him good fortune in the future. Nice little Kale McCarr there, all star. Hey, not a bad start. I, I think this, uh, this box is a winner already. With the Paterka, the Zegras. I feel this would make a good video in itself. I should just quit right here. Dougie Hamilton. Huh, I didn't see that. Oh, uh, we got Nick Flino here. Also, Sudbury Connected Boy. That's the uh, French variant. Uh, Actually played slow pitch against Nick Foligno a few years back, uh, which was a good time. On to the next pack. Duncan Keith, that might be one of his last cards. What a, he should go to the Hall of Fame. Uh, that'd be something, uh, something to see in a few years. We got an Anders Lee 0607 tribute. So my tributes are coming out fast and furious here. Kind of lost my order here. I don't know. Pack and grab him. Tucker Poolman, Adam Boquist, Kelly Yarncrock, and we have a Jack Drury, Young Guns. Not too bad. I believe he's my second tier of guys that I'm looking for. Uh, played two games in the NHL, scored two goals. So not too bad. So, oh, I'm really impressed so far with this first box. Oh, there's more to come so let's just keep on ripping Ooh, got a card stuck there I believe no we don't Zach Hyman Alex Chase on oh and we have a suit variant street variant of Freddie Anderson looking pretty flashy there not too shabby former Toronto Maple Leaf Played got a lot of good years there. Couldn't get past the first round though. Uh, sorry to all the Leaf fans out there. I don't want to rub that in. A little salt in the wounds. Uh, maybe next year or this season coming up. We will see. 
Oh, we got a little something here. Oh, it looks like another tribute. Jonathan drew in. Not too bad. So I think that's all the uh, tributes. So you're probably only going to get four of those in a box. And we've probably come across every one of them so far. Uh, I've got a few more canvas to go. Uh, that'd be nice. Nice to get a canvas young guns of, like I said, cider or pot holes in. Uh, Maybe even that Michael Bunting card. Uh, I'm sure that'll be chased by a few hockey fans out there. Oh, here's our first reflections. And, oh, we got a Brad Marchand box here. Not too bad. These are nice looking cards. Uh, this is just the regular base. I believe there is a parallel to these. A uh, little on the uh, shiny side again. I'll take it. I'll throw that in the uh, binder. I believe this is my next one. Ken Matthews, sport mustache there, looking good. And we have an Alexander Holtz holographics. little almost looks like raindrop effect in the background uh, I know these do have a gold parallel which uh, some of the players uh, just the uniforms just work so well with it uh, I don't know Holtz that's a uh, it's pretty good pretty good looking card there and a little more base Coming across our first finite, this SPX finite, and it's of Alex Turcotte. These are numbered out of 299 or 2999. Uh, so, like for a number card, that's a very high number. But uh, I think these come in different variations, and uh, uh, the lower the number, uh, the more rare, or like. Uh, I think I've seen one out of seven ninety nine, uh, so those would be a little more sought after. But uh, all in all, uh, I like I like these XPX finites. They're not too hard on the eyes, that's for sure. Craig Anderson there in that last card. Watch Craig Anderson in uh, junior hockey. Played with the uh, Guelph Storm. Pre Drew Doughty days back. Like, uh, I'm going way back on that one. Uh, oh, we're coming across another Young Guns. We got Lassie Thompson. I know some of the Sens fans really looking forward to this guy uh, joining the Blue Line. Uh, we'll see if they have a spot for him because that, uh, that team's been a little built up this year compared to uh, past years. So, uh, cracking the Ottawa lineup is not going to be as. Uh, easy as it was in the past look forward to those uh ottawa montreal games or toronto montreal games uh quite quite a bit of rivalry in the in that division it makes for exciting hockey and then we got a draw sidle blue dazzlers i believe you get one dazzlers per box and the marchand box keeps coming look at that egg eh? hey guys like look at that look at that face only a mother could love. I don't know where I'm at here. I think I lost my groove. Start back here again. Freshly retired Greg Paterin, Jimmy VC. We got Freddie Anderson, and we have another young gun. This is a Brett Leeson. I've heard good things about Leeson. Uh, took him a little while to get to the NHL, but uh, I believe that Washington will have a spot for him this year. And Washington seems like a team that uh, 
perennially uh, battles for the cup, so uh, chances are we'll see uh, Brett Leeson uh, on uh, maybe one of the, uh, maybe in the top six, but uh, if not, he'll be a solid depth player for them in the future. Oh, we're coming across a goal. It looks like a holographics. See, oh, Dawson Mercer. I like Dawson Mercer. I, uh, I think he's got a bright future in the NHL. Uh, the gold are not numbered. But uh, some of the uh, Dawson Mercers in Series 2, uh, I've been hanging on to those. Uh, just to see. I'm curious to see how New Jersey does this year. Uh, they seem to uh, have a nice young crop of uh, players there, uh, whether it's defense, uh, on the in the forwards, and uh, even their young goaltending. It uh, seems like uh, New Jersey would be a fun team to uh, keep track of in the next few years. And uh, here we go. We got an Alex Tuck in Buffalo. Not bad. Brian Elliott, and another young gun, Justin Danforth. I think he's from Ottawa, Ontario. Uh, don't know too much else about uh, Justin, but uh, uh, playing in Columbus. Oops, sorry. Hit the camera there. Uh, playing Columbus, he, uh, he probably could have a chance to crack the lineup and uh, get some minutes there. Uh, Columbus... Uh, Again, like they, uh, they seem to be going moving in the right direction after uh, years of toilage. Uh, they, uh, they. Uh, oh, here we go. We're coming across our first black diamond, I believe, and it's upside down. It does not look like a rookie. I think it's Leon Drawsidel. There we go. Um, I really like these black diamonds. Uh, that's a triple diamond. So a little more harder to get uh, than the single diamond cards. Not too bad. That'll be going in a binder for sure. Um, we got an Evan Bouchard base. Not bad either. And we're getting down to the nitty gritty of the box. Uh, so far, I'm pretty happy. Clinton Byfield, Trevor Zegers, a couple of solid young guns there. Still got another black diamond on the way, uh, and a few canvas, I believe. And we have, we've only got one canvas so far. And speak of the canvas, here they here they come: Holtby, Ristolainen, Perot, Pia Suter, and we have a Riley Smith in those uh, not so gorgeous golden helmets. Not a big fan of those. And we have a checklist of Chara and Perezi. Both of those gentlemen are a little long in the tooth. That's probably why they gave them the grace of the uh, checklist card. Last three packs, I'm probably expecting a black diamond, a couple more canvas. We've got an all-star card, a Connor McDavid. And we have a rookie gems. And this looks like it's going to be Uka Pekka Lukanen. Two, double diamond. Uh, Uka also played for the Sudbury Wolves, uh, so maybe this is a Brad Marchand Sudbury Wolves box. Uh, can't complain when you're getting your uh, local players. Uh, Rodriguez. Got Forsberg and Luke Glenn Denning. Last two packs. I'll just pull these out. Jones, Thomas Nosek, Ryan Graves, and we have a UD Canvas young gun of Igor Sokolov. Again, some of my Ottawa Senators friends, uh, they look forward to seeing Sokolov uh, have a long and productive career there. Uh, I wish uh, young Sokolov luck, uh, but it's always nice to get a young gun's canvas. And this card should also be a canvas. So we can see what, 
we should see what we get here. Jack Eichel in the Vegas uniform. It's a nice looking card. Vasilevsky with the long locks. Uh, Two-time Stanley Cup champion there. Can't take that away. And we also have a Charlie Coyle, the Boston Bruins, uh, to finish up the box. So yeah, the collation is great. Uh, I didn't see too, too much to complain about quality-wise. Uh, in the past, Upper Deck has uh, been pretty wish-washy about that. And uh, that's it for the box, guys. I hopefully you enjoyed this. Uh, I plan on making more. I hope to uh, see each and every one of you uh, in the future videos. Again, uh, if you enjoyed this, uh, like, subscribe, uh, uh, any of that stuff would uh, just go a long way. Uh, encouraging to uh, keep the channel going. And uh, until next time, have a great day.